okay uh, welcome back and we will solve some more recranus relations which we discussed yesterday's topic and we will try to take some more examples by changing the syntax and the instructions in an algorithm and accordingly we will see what will be its recranus relation and how that could be then solved so already we have solved two examples yesterday for decreasing functions using both the recranus as well as recurrence tree as well as the substitution method now in this part we will take we will just modify our previous algorithm which we have been working yesterday the only thing is that we are changing the for loop here yesterday we took for loop from i 0 and we compared it with the value of n and at each iteration we kept on increasing this value by 1 that is the program step was one so it is not necessary that i should always get incremented to i plus one that depends upon the need of the particular task at hand so i could be also upgraded or its value could be modified by multiplying its previous value by two and we have seen an example of this type of for loop in our previous lectures and we got that its complexity is log n at that very time this is what we have also uh, solved in the class also and now we are assuming that a for loop is there inside an algorithm and its syntax is like this at each iteration its program step is getting incremented or we can say multiplied by two so we have to see how to solve, how to build the recurrence relation of such an algorithm and how we can be able to solve that. We will take this example here and we will see that first of all we will uh, write the program that is test and we are passing some parameter to it then we are telling it to compare the value of the passed value parameter if it is greater than zero then go inside a for loop and at each iteration keep on multiplying the value of i with two and then go inside the for loop and keep on printing the value of each n at each iteration and then go out of the for loop and call this function recursively by passing n minus 1 and then cancel it then close it okay so uh, like we did it yesterday if we keep on moving in the same way we will see that if i denote the total complexity of this whole program segment as t of n that is for the whole program segment and i know that when there is this type of statement inside the for loop the complexity at that every time is equal to log n to the base 2 and for this part of this program the total time it will take will depend upon the value of n so this is already known to us how to find the total time complexity of an algorithm so there are two cases the two cases here which arise from this algorithm is that the total time of this algorithm will be written as t of n and that will be equal to 1 in the case when n is equal to 0 this condition because at that very time this whole program statement won't be executed as if condition will become false but now if n is greater than 0 which means this whole program segment will be executed and its time will be equal to t of n minus 1 plus the time of the for loop log of 2 to the base log of n to the base 2 okay so 
this will be the recurrence relation this will be the recurrence relation of this program segment so already we have seen there are two steps while we talk about the solution of any recurrence the first step is to try to remove this t from the equation that is the first goal while solving it and we saw that there are two output values one is when n is equal to 0 two cases and it is equal to 1 when n is equal to 0 and there is no t so t is only in the part when n is greater than 0 so that means we had to solve only this one t of n is equal to t of n minus 1 plus log n to the base 2 this is what we have to solve and this is what we we say this is the recurrence and we need to solve this recurrence relation. So moving forward in the same way as we did it yesterday, the first method is the recurrence tree method. Recurrence tree. So how to build the recurrence tree for it? Is that we start initially by the actual value, which is the total T of N, which takes for the whole algorithm. And at each iteration of T of N, like we take the example of yesterday test of three, then what it was doing at each iteration, it was printing T and was decreasing it by one test of three minus one, that is two. So the same case will be here T of N at each iteration, it will be printing log of N and T of n minus 1. Now, this t of n is again a recursive call just like the t of n. It is also the similar type of call, but the thing is only we are decreasing the value n by 1. So it will be also printing the values like the previous call print, but just decreasing it by 1. Log of n minus 1 and then decreasing here by one more value. Is it, is, is, is it simple by looking to the sequence, by looking to the pattern which is already present inside. So this thing will again, it is a recursive call. So it will be again dependent on two things. That is log of n minus 2 and decreasing the value of n by one more step to log of n minus 3. So we are decreasing the value of n by 1, then by one more then by one more, hmm? yes, yes, it's T. This is T, yes. So we are going backwards from N to minus one, to minus two, to minus three. And we are trying to reach to a point where we will be able to call T of three. Sometimes when we decrease, when we keep on going backwards and we keep on decreasing the value of N, at time we reach when we will be able to call this function by passing only the three as the parameter. So at that very point of time, the log will be log of three. And the recursive call will be again made to t of three minus one, that is equal to two. So this will again do the same thing. It will print log of two and here it will go to t of one. And this recursive call will again go to log of 1 and here on the right side it will go to t of 1 minus 1 is equal to 0. So this is the place where it will stop because I know that t when n becomes 0, when n becomes 0, the time complexity is equal to 1 which comes in constant time. So the t value that is the recursive function call stops here. This is the termination condition. So if as I am calculating the total complexity of this program segment, so I can write it here that T of N is equal to T of N is equal to log N plus log N minus 1 the sum of whole of those steps without the t plus log of n minus 2 and this will go on go on to log of 
थ्री प्लस लॉग ऑफ टू प्लस लॉग ऑफ वन दैट इज द सम ऑफ ऑल टर्म्स इन लॉग रिथमिक फॉर्म ऑन द लेफ्ट हैंड साइड ऑफ दिस ट्री सो वी हैव बिन एबल टू फाइंड अ सिक्वेंस नाउ which is the second step to be solved inside a recurrence relation the first one is that we have to remove the t and second one is that to find a sequence inside the pattern inside the data so this is equal to if i take log out to all of those terms and write it in the in the reverse order it is like 1 into 2 into 3 into n minus 1 into n because we know that log of m into n is equal to log m plus log of n so here the sequence has been extracted in this form to transform and take the log out we have to multiply all the terms inside this logarithmic and i have written it from this way 1 2 3 4 it is one and the same thing so when i found this sequence i can write t of n is equal to log of what is this term this is 1 into 2 into 3 into n minus 1 into n and this is equal to the factorial of a number so factorial is uh, n factorial is equal to n into n minus 1 into n minus 2 and we keep on calculating the factorial of a number until it reaches to 1 and by looking to the sequence we are able to find that we can put or substitute an factorial in this place because this is our this is our goal while we solve a recurrence to find some sequence and we have been able to find a sequence and this can be put equal to an factorial so the total time it takes for this type of program segment which we have wrote on the top is equal to t of n is equal to log n factorial when we write it in terms of asymptotic notation it is equal to n log n because there is no tight bound for it so whenever we take the worst case complexity of this type of n factorial it is equal to n log n you have to remember this or you can also if you want to study why this we keep take it equal to this thing you can do it but that's not important the thing is that we should be able to solve the recurrence relationship now the recurrence was initially t of n it was equal to t of n minus 1 plus log of n okay this was actually our initial recurrence now to solve the same recurrence using the another method which is the substitution method or we call it as induction also because this we have shown or solved using the recurrence tree now the same has to be solved using the other method so what we do here is that we we will be able to solve that only when we know the value of this term t of n minus 1 because in this recurrence only the t term is present here the log n does not have any t so i am saying if i know the value of t of n minus 1 i will substitute that value here and add a log n to it i will be able to solve this recurrence so if i write t of n is equal to t of n minus 1 plus log n here so this is the actual recurrence now what i need is that i should be able to know the value of t of n minus 1 so that i can substitute it here if i write it as a i can substitute the value of t of n minus 1 from here to equation number a that's what i am actually trying to see so how i will be able to find the value of t of n minus 1 is that in place of this n i have to substitute n minus 1 that's it so t is already here this t in place of n i have to write this n minus 1 n minus 1 then minus 1 is already there of its own plus then this log log of and again in place of n i had to write n minus 1 so this means that t of 
n minus 1 will be equal to this is t of n minus 2 plus log n minus 1. Now just give a simple syntax to it. Write it as equation B. So as we do in the mathematics, we can write that from equation B put the value of t of n minus 1 into equation A. So equation A is already t of n is equal to in place of this t of n minus 1, only in place of this thing. Okay, we have to substitute this whole. So it will become t of n minus 2 plus log of n minus 1 and then this log n is already there in the equation. So it will be log of n. So we will denote it by equation number 2 for example. Okay. So now in order to solve it again, in order to substitute it, because in the substitution method, we keep on, keep on resubstituting the value of t. So next term will be to find the value of t of n minus 2. Now to find the value of t of n minus 2, what we need to do is to put the value of n minus 2 in place of n. That is the only thing which we need to do. So t of n minus 2 will be equal to t of at place of n, it will be n minus 2 in this equation. Minus 1 is already there of its own plus again in place of n we have to see put n minus 2. So t of n minus 2 will be equal to t of n minus 3 plus log of n minus 2. Now again t of n minus 2 that which is equal to this much We will put it back in equation number 2. Let's denote it by equation number C. So from equation C, we will take the value of t of n minus 2 and put it in equation number 2. We will get t of n is equal to in place of this t of n minus 2, we have to write this whole. And this we will keep as such. There is no modification done in this part of the equation so we will keep it as such log n minus 1 plus log n this much so now t of n minus 2 which we have got it is equal to this much so we can write this as t of n minus 3 plus log n minus 2 plus this much is already there and we will denote it by equation number 3 So initially it was n minus 1, then it got n minus 2, then it got n minus 3. And what we see is that if we keep on going backwards, backwards in this, and we see that for kth iteration, for kth iteration in the back side,
online people please confirm whether uh, you are able to see the screen the system got crashed by a few minutes so i apologize for that yes sir screen is visible okay we will move forward so uh, we were saying that uh, this is the sequence this uh, cranus is actually following so when it was the equation number 2 we are subtracting that 2 from n okay and then we are taking log of n and we are adding 1 to it this will get clear from this equation when it is equation number third we are subtracting 3 from this n when it is 2 we are subtracting 2 from this n so moving backward so at each iteration whenever the number of iterations increase we decrease that iteration number from n so this is clear from this sequence it follows a particular pattern and that pattern is that if we go backwards and we reach to a kth iteration we can say that at kth iteration it will be equal to n minus k because at third it was n minus 3 at second it was n minus 2 and at kth it is it will be n minus k plus then we will go to this log it will be n minus since k is like it is 3 for decreasing it it will be k minus 1 1 less than k okay because it is 2 this one will be 1 less than the previous one it is 2 here here it was 3 so 2 is 1 less than 3 since we took a general term k here this one will be k minus 1 similarly this will be log of n minus this one it will be k minus 2 and this process will go until we reach a term which is without k so now in this equation a general equation which we have made we can see that all the terms here are without t except one term that is this one so if somehow i will be able to remove this term also that's t i have been able to solve the recurrence because this is lecture so to remove this to remove this i have to make it t of 0 because i know when t of 0 means n is equal to 0 time it takes is equal to 1 that is already given in the recurrence relation of this algorithm so to make this term equal to 0 i can say that whatever is inside the brackets of t n minus k it should be equal to 0 then it will become t of 0 and then that will become equal to 1 so that means that k should be equal to n now substitute the value k is equal to n in this equation which is the general term for this recurrence we get t of n is equal to t of n minus in place of k it will be again n plus log of this n minus in place of k it will be again minus n and we will multiply that n by this minus and this minus will get multiplied by this one it will become plus 1 plus log of again this this term it will be n minus inside the brackets there is k it will be multiplied by minus it will become minus k and k is equal to n then it will become plus 2 and then this will go up to log of n so while solving this equation t of n will be equal to t of n minus n will get 0 plus this will become equal to log 1 this will become equal to log 2 this will go 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 and sometimes before n it will be n minus 1 then it will go to n this will be the sequence by looking only to those terms this is what it follows so it means that the t of n again is equal to 
in place of t half zero i know when n is equal to zero it is equal to one plus this is again equal to log if i take outside this is again the multiplication of one into two into three into dash 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 into n minus one into n so t of n is again one plus log of this is again n factorial so by taking only the asymptotic notation one will be eradicated it will be log n factorial and that will be again equal to n log so that will be the complexity or time complexity of this type of program segment programs from yesterday's lecture till today's lecture we have been to able to see that when the recurrence is in the form t of n minus 1 plus 1 when it is of the form t of n minus 1 plus n when it is of the form t of n minus 1 plus log n which is what we studied now just now so we saw that the solution of this type of recurrence is for this type of recurrence it is n square for this type of recurrence it is big o n log and so the point here is that whenever you see suppose you are hang an mcq type of exam and uh, you are been asked to find out the complexity of this type of recurrence so instead of going so much deep at doing the math works you can find a simple technique to find it just by looking at the syntax of the recurrence whenever you see a recurrence of this type whatever is there on the right hand side multiply it with n multiply rhs by n since here it is one on the rhs that is the right right term is one multiply it with n and takes big o that's big o n the second one here it is n multiply it with n means n square take big o here it is log n multiply it by the n and take its big o and log n even if it is something like t of n minus 100 plus here it is n again you don't have to worry about what we are subtracting from n because it is just a constant it will again give the same the rule is same you multiply this term by n square so but this this rule gets validated or this rule is acceptable only to the recurrences of this type you have to keep it in mind if we are taking t inside the t n minus something plus something then this rule gets applied now the case arises that if there is a recurrence of the form 2t n minus 1 plus 1 so this is means that this one is not equal to this one so this rule won't be applicable to this type of recurrences when we have to multiply by a constant to this t term this rule is not acceptable at that very time so now in the next example we will be solving a program and program will be again like test of and and again we are saying if n is greater than 0 then print that value of the n which will be it at this time and the only thing i am doing is that i am making the recursive call two times i can do it it is up to programmer's choice how he calls the recursive function and how many times he calls so by uh, looking to this program code we can see that the total time as usual will be t of n 
for whole of this program. And for this part, it will be T of N minus 1. Since we are calling it two times, for the other one, it will be again T of N minus 1. And for this program, it will be equal to 1. So writing the recurrence of this type of algorithms, it will be n is equal to 0 1 times. So always when it is a decreasing function, decreasing function is we said when we are calling the recursive function each and every time by slightly decreasing the parameter value. And there could be the dividing functions also. When it is the decreasing case, we always take n greater than 0. And when it is the dividing case, we take n greater than 1, which we will see in the tomorrow's lecture where we take the examples of dividing functions since we are dealing with the decreasing ones. So n when it is equal to 0, condition is checked only once. But when n is equal to, n is greater than 1, then the total time is equal to t of n minus 1 plus t of n minus 1 plus 1. So again, to solve such type of recurrences means that this part is already solved. What we have to focus is on this very part. So this could be written as t of n is equal to t n minus 1, t n minus 1 will add up to 2t n minus 1 plus 1. And this will be the actual recurrence relation of an algorithm like this, which is given here. Now, solving this using the recursive tree method, RT method, we see that the total time it takes for this recurrence is, it will be printing 1 at a particular time then it will be calling t of n minus 1 and then it will be calling t of n minus 1 again. Isn't that? This is how its flow will be there. This recursive call in turn will again itself print 1, then it will call itself by decreasing its parameter by one more term and calling it two times the same way. Yes. And this one in turn will again print one, again call itself by decreasing its parameter by one, again call itself by decreasing its parameter by two. Now, when this, this will be the first iteration, this will be the second. Now in the third, in the third iteration, this t of n minus two, it will in turn print 1 and will call itself once more by decreasing parameter by one more. Call itself by decreasing its parameter one more. Same way this another recursive function will do, it will print 1, call itself by decreasing its parameter, call itself twice by decreasing its parameter. Same is done by this one also, 1 t of n minus 3, t of n minus 3, same is done by this one, t of n minus 3 and t of n minus 3. And this is not only, this will not only stop here, this will go sometimes. So we don't have to see for how much time this will go on. What we will see is that we have, we will see only the pattern it follows. Here we are hang one level, then we are hang this level, level two, and then we are hang this level three. So here we will see the number of times You see the call to recursive function in this level is t of n minus 1, t 
t of n minus 1 is twice. If we go beneath the level by one more, we see the call to recursive function four times. And if we go below by one more level, we will see it is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So this is 8 times. So keeping on moving forward, we can write it as 2 power 1, 2 power 2, 2 power 3. So again, when we go beneath, when we go to the back side, we will reach to a stage where it is the kth iteration. So at kth iteration, the number of calls will be equal to 2 power k because this is the third iteration or third level or third whatever you call it. So it is equal to and here it is only one which is equal to 2 power 0, the first one. So find summing it all, we can find that the total Tn of this type of algorithm is dependent on 2 of 0 plus 2 of 1, 2 of 2, 2 power k up to this level. And what is this? If you see an expression like this, it is a GP, geometric progression. Like there is AP arithmetic and there is GP. And in GP, each successive term is having the same ratio. It is 2 divided by 2 power 0 is equal to 1, it is equal to 2. This is 4 divided by this 2, it is 2. So next term will be 8 divided by this 4. And the solution to such geometric progression is equal to 2 power k minus 1. This is the solution or we can say we can write it in terms of this thing also. This is just mathematics. There is the nth term, there is that common uh, this common factor in between the two terms. And we have to take that r is equal to 2 and the first term which is a and b like that and accordingly when we solve it using geometric we get it equal to 2 power k plus 1 minus 1. So again, T of n is equal to when a substitute assume k is equal to n. I substitute the value n in place of k. So it will become 2 power n plus 1 minus 1. Okay, only we am substituting the n in place of k and when I take the asymptotic notation of this type of equation, it will be 2 power n, big O of 2 power n. And that will be the complexity or the solution of this type of recurrence relations. So it doesn't follow that rule which we have been studying as a general rule for all of this, all the previous recurrences. When a constant is multiplied to a recurrence, the rule could change and we have been seeing it here in this example. It has been coming equal to 2 power n. Now again, we will solve the same recurrence by using the substitution method. So if I write it, it is equal to t power n, t of n is equal to 2t n minus 1 plus 1. So this is the second method. So I will again see that 
inside this equation, all the terms are without t, but except in this one. So if I know the value of t of n minus 1, I can substitute it here, equation A, and I will try to find whether I will get this equation without t. So t of n, I will write here again, 2t n minus 1 plus 1. Now what I need is that I had to find the value of t n minus 1. So continuously I have been showing this mathematics how to find it. 2t will remain as such. In place of n we need to substitute n minus 1. That's it. And minus 1 is already there plus 1 is already there. So t of n minus 1 is equal to 2 t n minus 2 plus 1. Now bring this value of t of n minus 1 here and substitute it here. So what I will get is t of n will be equal to 2 will remain as such. It is 2. Okay. And this 2 is multiplier of whole this term inside t of n minus 1. So this will be equal to 2 t n minus 2 plus 1. And this whole is equal to n of 2 of t of n minus 1. That's why this 2 is multiplicated to all of that. And this is from this to this. Then plus 1 of the formula is already there, which has to be added. So if I say that I can write this equal to t of n is equal to this 2 and 2 will get multiplied to each other. It will become 2 square. Then it will be t n minus 2 and this 2 will be multiplied to this also 2 plus 1 so this will be also equal to t of n is equal to 2 square t of n minus 2 plus 3 and let me denote it by equation number second now again in this equation 2 square 3 is already what I need to find is t of n minus 2 so that I can substitute it in it. So I will find t of n minus 2 from initial equation which is this by substituting the value of n minus 2 in place of plus 1 will be uh, itself. This is it, yeah. So it will be 2t n minus 3 plus 1. And this will be the value of t of n minus 2. So taking this value from this equation and substituting it equation number th second, we will get that t of n is equal to 2 square will remain as such. Okay, this t in place of this t of n minus 2, we have to substitute this whole. So 2 square will be multiplier of whole this term 2t n minus 3 plus 1. Then the 3 of the equation number 2 is already there. So while solving this, what we will get is t of n this 2 and 2 it will become 2 cube t n minus 3 plus 2 and this it will become 2 square okay we, we won't add these terms here it will be like as such 2 plus 1 this okay so when we multiply it it will become 2 square then there is this 2 plus it's like 2 power 0. So as to make a sequence, the goal which we are hanging here. 
So this will be the equation which we will get after the third iteration. So let's write down it as third. Now, if I go again in the backward direction, direction, and I will try to find what will be my t of n for kth time, for kth iteration. So what I see is that I will see when it is third, we are writing that third as a power to this two. So when it is second, we are writing the second as a power to two. So when it will be kth, we will write that k to the power of this two. Two power k t will remain as such. Inside it will be n minus. Now in place of three, we have to write k plus two power. Now in place of two, what we have to write k minus one. Similarly, in place of one, k minus. Similarly, it is equal to k minus k. Yes. So again, now when we substitute k equal to n, t of n will be equal to two power n t into n minus n. Two power n minus 1 n minus 2 it will be again 0 that's one and the same thing so when we solve it it will be t of n equal to 2 of n into t of 0 plus this whole thing this whole thing is starting from which if i write in reverse order so 2 power 0 will be 1 Okay, then there is some 2 power 1, there is some 2 power 2, and this process goes on till 2 power n minus 1 plus 2 power n minus 2, 2 power n minus 1. I am writing it in reverse order. So, this is what it is. So, again, t of 0, I know it is equal to 1 which already we know from the formula or from the recurrence. So this will be equal to 2 of n plus this whole will be again, it will be again a geometric progression. This will be again equal to 2 power n plus 1 minus 1. But since n is not here, n, n is here n minus 1, 1 less than n. Geometric progression is 2 of n plus 1 when it is equal to 2 power n. Since it is 1 lesser than that, so we will decrease that 1 here also. So it will be n minus 1 plus 1. That is equal to n plus 1 minus 1. You got it? So again, when we solved it, it will be 2 power n plus 2 power n minus 1. So this will be equal to 2 power n plus 1 minus 1. This will be 2 power n, 2 power n is 2 times 2 power n. Isn't that? That will be 2 power n plus 1 minus 1. And when we take the complexity, it will be again equal to big O of 2 power. And that is the same which we got from the previous method. And we will uh, we will uh, stop it here, and we will start from today uh, tomorrow. In fact, and we will start by discussing the dividing functions now. The decreasing functions will be finished, and we will start the dividing ones from tomorrow. But using only those two methods, and once the dividing functions are also completed using the recursive tree and substitution, then we will go to the third method, which is the master's theorem. And master's theorem, we will also study for both the functions that is decreasing as well as dividing. And one is that is over whole of the recurrence is over, and I think whole of the algorithm is dependent on all this. Okay, then I am stopping it here.
I, I will make uh, even it is getting recorded, but still I will make a, a single PDF to whole of that presentation which I am giving here on the whiteboard, and I will share it with you in the group.